the Reach was formerly a sovereign nation ruled by the kings of the Reach before the War of Conquest. It is the second largest of the kingdoms behind the North and the second wealthiest region in the Seven Kingdoms behind the Westerlands, but it is the most fertile region. Among the products it produces are melons, fire plums, peaches, apples and grapes. The arbor is said to make the finest of wines from dry fruity reds to a rich golden vintage. Before the War of Conquest, the golden coins of the reach were known as hands. They still exist in some number, with each hand coin roughly half the value of a dragon coin. The reach is considered the home of chivalry in Westeros, as it is the place where knighthood is looked upon with the greatest reverence and esteemed the most. The Tyrells of Highgarden, Wardens of the South, can field at least some 70,000 soldiers. The naval strength of the reach is made up mostly of the Red Vine fleet of the Arbor, which can contains 200 warships. The beginnings of the Reach can be traced back to Garth Greenhand, the legendary High King of the First Men, who lived in the Age of Heroes. The royal line of House Gardener of High Garden claimed a descent from Garth, as do many current houses of the region. House Footley of Tumbleton The prosperous market town of Tumbleton was the site of two battles during the Dance of the Dragons. In the Battle of Tumbleton, the two betrayers, Sir Hugh Hammer and Sir Ulf white betrayed their black allies and unleashed their dragons vermitor and silverwing upon the town lord footley's men surrendered but were slain much of tumbleton was burned to ash by dragonfire and in the subsequent sack by the greens who encamped around the castle until the second battle three dragons fought during the second battle of tumbleton in which the town was further damaged tumbleton was reduced to ash and embers in the civil war but the town existed again by the reign of King Robert Baratheon. The wards of House Footley are, tread lightly here, House Shermer of Smitherton. House Shermer declares for Ranley Baratheon during the War of the Five Kings, so as most houses of the Reach. House Caswell of Bitterbridge. The Caswells carried the title Defender of the Fords. Bitterbridge was formerly known as Stonebridge, due to an ancient stone bridge that crosses the Mander River. The castle is small, made of stone and timber. The keep is not that tall, but the land is low and flat, and thus makes it seem taller. The the Battle of Stonebridge was one of many battles during the Faith Militant Uprising against King Magor I Targaryen. The savagery of that particular battle made the Mander run red with blood for twenty leagues. The bridge and castle that commanded it was forever known as Bitterbridge thereafter. Renly Baratheon's army is camped beneath the walls of Bitterbridge when Lady Caitlin Tully comes to meet with him. House Meadows of Grassy Vale Grassfield Keep is the castle of House Meadows in or near the town of Grassy Vale. The young Lord Edward Meadows, a cousin of the Fossaways, is Sir Courtney Penrose's second-in-command at Storm's End. After the death of Courtney, Elwood names himself the new castellan of Storm's End and surrenders the castle to Stannis Baratheon, House Ashford of Ashford. House Ashford held the tourney at Ashford Meadow in year 209 after conquest. Lord Ashford's sons, Sir Andrew and Sir Robert, were two of their original champions of their 13-year-old sister. During the tourney, an altercation occurred between Sir Duncan the Tall and Prince Aerion Targaryen. This resulted in Duncan striking the prince, claiming that he was only following the knight's vows to defend the weak. Aerion demanded a trial of seven to clear his name. During the trial, King Daeron's second Targaryen's son and heir, Prince Baelor, was slain by his own brother, Prince Makar, later known as King Makar I. Robert Robert Baratheon was defeated at the Battle of Ashford during Robert's Rebellion. The battle occurred when the van of the Tyrell army, under command of Lord Randall Tarly, ran into Lord Robert Baratheon's forces. Randall's forces overran Robert's army, and Robert was forced to withdraw from the field before the main force of the Tyrell host had joined the battle. The result of the battle was marked by Tyrion Lannister as inconclusive. Thus, it is likely the battle was not very large, and Robert's 
Soviets' forces remained relatively intact. However, faced with the large numbers of the main Tyrell force, Robert had no choice but to withdraw from the south and attempt to link up with his allies in the north. To this end, he force marched his troops north towards the Riverlands. Robert's withdrawal from the Stormlands allowed the victorious Tyrell army to invade the Stormlands and lay siege to Storm's End. The words of House Ashford are, Our sun shines bright. House Fossaway of New Barrel. A knightly house, they are commonly referred as the Green Apple Fossaways to differentiate them from the original branch of the house, the Red Apple Fossaways from Cider Hall. The origin of this branch of House Fossaway is from year 209 after conquest, when Raymond Fossaway took different side than his cousin Sir Stefan, the Knight of Cider Hall, in a trial of seven at Ashford Meadow. Raymond, who was knighted minutes before the battle by Sir Lionel Baratheon, fought for his friend Sir Duncan the Tall. To differentiate himself from his cousin fighting for the other side, he painted the apple on his shield in green, playing at Stefan's oft-repeated jape that he was still green. He stated that he preferred to be green than rotten. House Merryweather of Longtable House Merryweather was once a powerful and rich family. Aerys II stripped the Merryweathers of their lands and exiled Lord Owen for his failures as Hand of the King to prevent Robert's rebellion. King Robert I Baratheon restored their title and some of their lands when he took the Iron Throne, but the family's wealth and status have not completely recovered. The words of House Merryweather are, Behold our bounty. House Fossaway of Cider Hall. They are commonly referred as the Red Apple Fossaways to differentiate them from the other branch of the house, the Green Apple Fossaways from New Barrel. The words of House Fossaway of Cider Hall are a taste of glory. House Roxton of the Ring. The Roxtons trace their ancestry back to Andal adventurers given lands and wives by the Free Sage Kings of House Gardener during the Andal invasion. The Free Sage Kings were a trio of wise and cunning kings of the reach from House Gardener, who followed one another and who dealt with the Andal invasion of the Reach long ago after the fall of the Vale and the Riverlands and Stormlands. Instead of armed resistance, they took a policy of accord and assimilation toward the Andals. Roxton's possess a Valyrian steel sword called Orphan Maker, said to have a black blade. House Kidville of Ivy Hall. House Cordvainer of Hammer Hall. House Appleton of Appleton. House Gracefort of Holy Hall. The Grace Gracefords trace their ancestry back to Andal adventurers, given lands and wives by the free sage kings of House Gardener during the Andal invasion. They blazoned their arms with the mother's face of the seven. The words of House Gracefort are Work her will. House Rowan of Golden Grove. It is one of the most prominent and old families from the Reach, its dominions extending all along its northern borders. This may mean that the Rowans were made Marshal of the North March to replace the declining House. Osgrey, now their bannerman. Like several other major reach houses, the Rowans can trace their descent from the legendary Garth Greenhand through his daughter Rowan Goldtree. According to legend, she was so bereft that her lover left her for a rich rival that she wrapped an apple in her golden hair and planted it upon a hill. From the apple grew a tree whose bark, leaves and fruit were yellow gold. In some tales of the reach, Land the Clever was a bastard born to Rowan or her sister. Floris the Fox. Tarion, one of the Night's Watch recruits training with Jon Snow, was an apprentice singer in the Reach before being caught in bed with the daughter of Lord Mattis Rowan. Though Darion maintains that she was waiting for him naked and helped him into her room, under her father's eye she named it Rape. For this, Darion was sent to join the Night's Watch. House Weber of Coldmoat. Coldmoat has crenellated outer walls standing 30 feet high, with towers at each of the corners, and is surrounded by a moat. Coldmoat was raised by Lord Pervin the Proud. However, the castle was taken from the Osgreys during the reign of Magor I Targaryen, because Lord Armand Osgrey opposed King Magor's laws. Lady Roxanne Weber later married Sir Eustace Osgrey, thereby by bringing Cold Moat under the joint control of House Weber and House Osgrey. House Osgrey of Stanfast. They have not been lords in centuries, now being landed knights, though they once had been 
among the greatest houses of the reach. House Osgrey was established at least thousand years before the conquest. The family used to be marshals of the North Match under House Gardner. At that time, they possessed four castles and were done fealty by a score of lesser lordlings and a hundred landed knights. Their largest castle was Cold Moat. The Osgreys were a prominent family who intermarried with such families as the Florence, Swans, Tarbacks, Hightowers, and Blackwoods. After the last Gardener King was killed on the field of of fire, the Osgrey's prominence began to diminish. Lord Armand Osgrey lost cold mood when he spoke out against King Magar the Cruel for his suppression of the faith militant. In the first Blackfire Rebellion, the head of the house, Sir Eustace Osgrey, supported Daemon Blackfire. In return, Daemon promised the return of Coldmoat, but the rebellion failed, and Osgrey's three sons were killed at the Battle of the Red Cross Field. Eustace was forgiven by King Daeron's second Targaryen, but his daughter Alison was taken as a hostage. His wife committed suicide after the loss of all their children. This made Eustace the last of his line. After Roxanne Weber and Eustace Osgrey married, Eustace became the Lord of Coldmoat. Thus, lands that were previously under the domain of House Weber were restored to House Osgrey, House Crane of Red Lake. According to legend, the house was founded by a daughter of Garth Greenhand, Rose of Red Lake. It is rumored that some female members of House Crane are able to skin change into cranes. Red Lake and the cranes joined the Kingdom of the Reach through pacts of friendship and mutual defense with King Garth Third Gardener, House Oakheart of Old Oak. The Oakharts claim descent from John the Oak, a legendary son of Garth Greenhand and a giantess. He was a huge man, eight feet tall in some tales, or even ten or twelve in others. Even though chivalry was brought by the Andals millennia later, he is credited with bringing chivalry to Vasteras. As part of the long-standing rivalry between the Reach and Dorne, Oakharts have fought Dornishmen extensively. The words of House Oakhart are, Our roots go deep. House Hewitt of Oakenshield. Oakenshield is one of the Shield Islands in the Reach. The Shield Islands, commonly called the Shields or Four Shields, are four islands of the Reach. Their name derives from their strategical location that helped protect the Mander River from the Iron Islands for centuries. When any sign of longships is spotted, elders in watchtowers light beacon fires, which in turn cause other watchtowers to light their own beacons and spread the warning to settlements further in land so they will not be caught unaware. The Shields Islands were originally known as the Misty Islands. The Misty Islands were renamed once King Garth's seventh gardener drove out the Iron Men and fortified them with men from the Reach. Lord Hewitt's castle with thick walls and studded oaken gates, evoking the ancient arms of the house, sits above the harbour of Lord Hewitt's town, which is a relatively big port. House Grimm of Greyshield, one of the Shield Islands. It is the site of Grimston, the seat of House Grimm, House Seri of South Shield, House Chester of Green Shield, House Blackbar of Bandolin, House Florent of Brightwater Keep. According to legend, the Florence, the Balls, and the Peaks descend from the three husbands of Floris the Fox, a legendary daughter of Garth Greenhand and the cleverest of his children. According to myth, she kept three husbands, each ignorant of the existence of the other two. In some tales of the Reach, Lan the Clever was a bastard born to Floris or her sister, Rowan Goldtree. The Florence, like the Tyrells, claim descent from the extinct house gardener, and since they have a superior line of descent, believe that they by rights should possess Highgarden. Salise Florent is the queen of newly crowned Stannis Baratheon, to whom she is lovelessly married. As the War of the Five Kings breaks out, House Florent follows House Tyrell in supporting the late Robert I Baratheon's younger brother, Ranley. They field roughly 2,000 men, a large proportion of whom are cavalry. However, upon Ranley's death at Storm's End, the house switches allegiance to Stannis. Following the Lannister victory over Stannis on Black Water, Lord Tywin dispossesses the Florence of their holdings and awards them to Sir Garland Tyrell, the second son of Lord Mace Tyrell, as a reward for loyal service, forming House Tyrell of Brightwater Keep.
House Beesbury of Honeyholt. They are sworn to House Hightower and claim descent from Ellen Eversweet, a legendary daughter of Garth Greenhand. According to legend, she loved honey so much she sought the king of the bees in his vast mountain hive and made pact with him to care for his children and his children's children for all time, becoming the first beekeeper. Sir Hugh Beesbury took part in the wager on Brienne of Tarf's maidenhood, offering her as a present a pot of honey as sweet as the maid of Tarf. The words of House Beesbury are Bever our sting, House Mullendor of Uplands. They are sworn to the high towers. House Mullendor supports Renly Baratheon's claim for the Iron Throne during the War of the Five Kings. Sir Mark Mullendor is a popular member in Renly's army, notably because of his trained black and white monkey. Sir Mark is amongst the lords who join Renly Baratheon beneath the walls of Bitterbridge. He feeds his monkey morsels at the feast. Brienne of Tarf later recalls that Mark was a part of the wager over who would claim her maidenhead. He used his monkey to make her laugh in his attempt to woo her, but Lord Randall Tarly found out about the wager and put an end to it. After the bat was discovered and ended, Brienne sought out and defeated Mark during the melee at Bitterbridge. Mark goes over to Stannis Baratheon after Renly's death and loses his arm and his monkey at the Battle of the Blackwater and is one of the nobles captured. He bends the knee to King Joffrey Baratheon, House Balvor of Black Crown. They are sworn to the High Towers. According to legend, House Balvor descends from Bors the Breaker, a legendary son of Garf Greenhand, who gained the strength of 20 men by drinking only bull's blood. Some tales state Bors drank so much blood he grew a pair of shiny black horns. Lady Alison Bolver, a child of seven, is among Marjorie Tyrell's companions at King's Landing. Jack Bolver, known as Black Jack Bolver, is a ranger of the Night's Watch. He stays at Castle Black and survives the battle against the Wildlings. The wards of House Bolver are Death Before Disgrace, House Castain of Free Towers. They are sworn to the High Towers. Lord Owen Castain of Free Towers declares for Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen during the Dance of the Dragons, going against his Hightower overlords. He was mortally wounded by Sir John Roxton's Valyrian Steel Black Blade, Orphan Maker, during the Battle of the Honey Wine. Aemon Costain is among the seven singers selected to sing at King Joffrey's wedding. House Kai of Sunhouse. They are sworn to the High Towers and trace their ancestry back to Andal adventurers, given lands and wives by the Free Sage Kings of House Gardener during the Ando invasion. Sunhouse, also called Sunflower Hall, is located by the town Kai. House Kai supports Renly Baratheon in the War of the Five Kings. Sir Emon Kai is chosen for Renly Baratheon's Rainbow Guard, being known as Sir Emon the Yellow afterwards. Emon Kai and Sir Robar Royce are slain by Sir Loras Tyrell in a fit of rage after the death of Renly. Loras blames them for not having protected Renly well enough. House Hightower of the High Tower. They are one of the most important and powerful vassals of House Tyrell, and before them of House Gardener. Their seat is the High Tower in the city of Old Town. The family is ancient, existing since the dawn of days when they were petty kings. While most scholars believe they descend from the first men, some state that they descend from the seafarers and traders that settled at the top of the Whispering Sound Bay in an earlier time. Men who came to Vasteros before the first men and seem to have found founded the original incarnation of Old Town. Whatever the truth, the High Towers resided in the ancient Blackstone Fortress of Battle Isle at the mouth of the Honeywine River before the High Tower of Stone was built. The High Towers built four successive wooden beacon towers atop the fortress. The legendary King Uther of the High Tower is said to have commissioned Bran the Builder or his son Brandon to design the Fifth Tower, one built entirely of stone. Uther's son, Paramore High Tower, known as Paramore the Twisted, was a sickly boy born with a withered arm and twisted back. He was bedridden for much of his short life, but had an insatiable thirst for knowledge about the world. So he turned to wise men, teachers, priests, healers and singers, as well as wizards, alchemists and sorcerers. When Paramore died, his brother, King Oregon, bequeathed a large tract of land beside the honey wine to Paramore's pets, that they might establish and continue in their quest for knowledge. Thus, the Citadel and the Order of Maesters was established. 
established. During these early days, Old Town was threatened and sacked many times, including by Ironborn raiders, Dornishmen, and the armies of the Kings of the Reach, House Gardener of Highgarden. The Kings of the High Tower raised strong walls and higher towers to keep any further invaders out. Old Town was not brought into the realm of the Gardeners by conquest, but by marriage. During the Ando invasion, the High Towers and the Gardeners allied with the newcomers. Thus, they were able to keep their wealth, lands, and privileges. Protected by the might of High Garden, the Lords of Old Town turned their eyes to trade and commerce, and grew with every generation to become one of the richest and most powerful noble families in Westeros. The High Towers were also one of the first great lords to accept the faith of the Seven, and thus gave their patronage to the establishment of the office of High Septon and the building of Starry Sept as the center of the faith. High Towers possess a Valyrian steel sword called Vigilance. During Aegon's conquest of the Seven Kingdoms, Lord Manfred Hightower heeded the High Septon and did not join his liege lord, King Myrne Ninth Gardener, on the march to the Field of Fire. Soon, Myrne was dead and High Garden surrendered, with the Tyrells replacing the Gardeners. When Aegon the Conqueror arrived at Old Town on Dragonback, Manfred opened his gates. Aegon spurred the city and the High Septon anointed him and acknowledged House Targaryen right to rule over all seven kingdoms. During Robert's rebellion, the Hightowers remained loyal to King Aerys II and the Targaryen dynasty. Sir Geralt Hightower, the Lord Commander of the King's Guard, was killed at the Tower of Joy. The Hightowers knelt to the new king, Robert I Baratheon, after the defeat of the Targaryens. Lord Leighton attended the tourney at Lannisport to watch his son's joust. Lyness accompanied her father, meeting and marrying Jorah Mormont, Lord of the Bear Island. Mormon's Hall proved underwhelming, however, and Lyness eventually became the chief concubine of a merchant prince Dragar Ormelin in Lys. House Hightower continues to be patrons of both the Citadel and the Faith of the Seven. They are as rich as House Lannister and can field three times as many swords as other Tyrell bannermen, as well as the manpower of Old Town. The current head of the house, Lord Leighton, has not descended from the Hightower in over a decade. His fourth and current wife is Rhea Florent. Besides her family, the Hightowers are connected to several prominent reach houses. Leighton's second daughter, Ellery, is bed to their liege, Mace Tyrell. At the start of the War of the Five Kings, the Hightowers follow the Tyrell lead in supporting Renly, though they do not change the Stannis Baratheon's side after Renly's assassination. Some Hightowers are said to have dabbled in alchemy and necromancy. The wars of House Hightower are, we light the way. House Redwine of the Arbor. It is a powerful house with strong ties to the Tyrells, and the Redwine fleet provides a significant portion of the fleet of the Reach, owning 200 warships and five times as many merchant vessels. Members of the house tend to be freckled and red hair. The current lord of the Arbor, Paxter Redwine, is married to his cousin, Mina Tyrell, the sister of his liege, Lord Mace Tyrell. His elderly aunt, Olena Redwine, the Queen of Thorns, is the mother of Mace and Mina, and is an ex excellent schemer. Besides their marital ties, Lady Olena's influence over House Tyrell gives the Red Wines a strong voice in the Reach. The Red Wines claim descent from Gilbert of the Wines, a legendary son of Garth Greenhand, who taught the man of the Arbor to make wine. House Redwine ruled over the Arbor as Kings of the Arbor until its last king was lost at sea, allowing his cousin, King Merrin Third Gardener, to make the Isle part of the Kingdom of the Reach. Bethany Redwine was to have married Brynden Tully, but he refused the match and she was wed to Lord Mattis Rowan instead. During the War of the Usurper, Lord Paxter Redwine joined his cousin good brother, Mace Tyrell, in staying loyal to King Aerys II Targaryen. His main contribution to the war was the naval blockade of Storm's End during Mace's siege, ferrying men across Blackwater Bay and blockading Shipbreaker Bay. During Greyjoy's rebellion, the Redwine fleet supported Stannis Baratheon in the Battle of Fair Isle. Paxter Redwine's twin sons, Horus and Haber, teased and humiliated Samuel Tarly when he was sent to the Arbor as a posh. Later, Sir Horus and Sir Haber were kept as hostages in King's Landing, preventing House Redwine from joining the Tyrells in declaring for King Renly. The port town of Rhymesport is located on the Arbor, as well as the settlements of Winetown and Starfish Harbor. House Tarly of Hornhill, one of the strongest houses sworn to House Tyrell, marcher lords of the Dornish marches 
says the Tarleys are a family old in honor, with rich lands and a strong keep. They are also the keepers of Valyrian greatsword called Hardsbane. Samuel Tarly has been removed from the Tarly line of succession by Lord Randall Tarly in favor of Dickon Tarly. According to legend, Tarly Castle was built on Horn Hill by Garth Greenhand's sons, Harlan the Hunter and Herndon of the Horn, who built their castle atop Horn Hill and took to wife the beautiful woods witch who dwelt there, sharing her favors for a hundred years. The brothers did not age so long as they had intercourse with her whenever the moon was full. Prior to the acquisition of the western marches by the kings of the Reach, the castle was in a kingdom which extended from Horn Hill to Nightsong. Randall Tarly is among the lords that joined their forces to Ranley Baratheons beneath Bitterbridge. Ranley was at Horn Hill with Lord Tarly when he received Stannis Baratheon's letter concerning the illegitimacy of Queen Cersei Lannister's children. Randall is among the lords who do not go over to Stannis after Ranley's death at Storm's End. He captures Ranley's stores at Bitterbridge and puts many men to death, mainly Florent men-at-arms, lest they go over to Stannis along with their lords. Randall is presented to the Iron Throne after the Battle of the Blackwater, where he had commanded the center of the Tyrell and Lannister host. The wards of House Tarly are first in battle. House Peak of Starpike. The peaks are marcher lords from the Dornish marches. The three black castles on their arms symbolize the three castles that House Peak once owned. Starpike, Dunstanbury and Whitegrove. House Peak is an ancient house of first man origin. According to tales from the Reach, the peaks, Florence and Bowls are each descended from one of the three husbands of Floris the Fox, a daughter of Garth Greenhand. Near the end of the long reign of King Garth Greybeard, a problem arose with the succession as Garth has sired no sons and only daughters, one of whom had married Lord Manderley and another to Lord Peak. Both lords were determined that their own wife should succeed to the throne, and the rivalry between them was marked by betrayal, conspiracy and murder, and finally escalated into open war with other lords joining the cause on both sides. The anarchy that followed lasted almost a decade until Sir Osmond Tyrell, the High Steward of Highgarden, made common cause with the other lords of the Reach and defeated both the Peaks and Manderleys. Sir Osmond then placed a distant cousin of the late Garth Greybeard on the throne, who ascended as King Mern VI Gardener. House Manderley was driven into exile from the Reach by Lord Lorimar Peak upon the behest of King Persian III Gardener, who feared the Manderley's swelling power in the Reach. This allowed House Peak to acquire the Manderley's seat of Dunstanbury. Lord Garmon Peak was a fierce supporter of Daemon First Blackfire and was considered one of the finest knights during the reign of King Daeron II Targaryen. After they chose the side of House Blackfire in the failed First Blackfire Rebellion, they had two of their castles stripped from them, leaving them only Starpike. The Peaks rose against the Iron Throne in the Peak Uprising. Make our first Targaryen fell in battle beneath the walls of Starpike. Lord Robert Rain and Sir Tywald Lannister were also killed in the storming of Starpike. In the aftermath of Starpike, Roger Rain, the new Lord of Castamere, took vengeance for his father Robert's death by slaughtering seven captive peaks before Prince Aegon Ag Targaryen prevented him from harming others. Whitegrove is one of the castles that were taken from House Peak. Its current ruling house is not known. Dunstanbury was once a castle of House Manderley when they lived along the Mander in the Kingdom of the Reach. When the Manderleys fled the Reach a thousand years before the War of Conquest, Dunstanbury passed to their rivals, House Peak, exiled in the north. The Manderleys built the new keep at White Harbor to reflect Dunstanbury. Dunstanbury was the other castle that was taken from House Peak because of their support of the Blackfires. House Verval of Darkdale, House Tyrell of Highgarden. It is one of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms, being Lords Paramount of the Mander and the Liege Lords of the Reach. A large, wealthy house, its wealth is only surpassed among the great houses by House Lannister, and the Tyrells can field the greatest armies. Additionally, if they call the ships of the Red Wine Fleet, the Lords of the Shield Islands, and the Coastal Lords, they can command a navy that equals if not surpasses the Royal Fleet of King's Landing. Highgarden is an ancient seat of rule and the heart of chivalry in the Seven Kingdoms. The Tyrells style themselves defenders of the marches and high marshals of the Reach, and traditionally they have been wardens of the South and Lords Paramount of the Mander. Members of the family tend to have curly brown hair and brown or golden eyes. The Tyrells trace their line of descent through the female line to the legendary Garth the Gardener, the mythical first king of the 
the Reach reigning in the Age of Heroes and the son of the equally mythic Garth Greenhand. Unlike other great houses, the Tyrells never ruled as kings. The Tyrells were stewards to House Gardner, the ancient ruling line of the Kings of the Reach, who periodically intermarried with lower-ranking houses of the Reach, such as House Tyrell or House Florent. Sir Alistair Tyrell, the founder of the house, was an Andal knight and adventurer who showed such prowess at arms that he was named the champion of King Gwain V Gardner, the last of the three sage kings. Sir Alistair's eldest son also became a notable knight, but died an attorney. Alistair's second son, Garrett, was more of a bookish band and never achieved knighthood, choosing instead to serve as a royal steward. He and his son Leo performed their duties so well, the gardeners made the office of high steward hereditary. It is from Garrett that today's Tyrells descend. During the minority of King Garland's sixth gardener, a member of House Tyrell ruled the Reach in his name as regent. Mern VI was so pleased with the Tyrells that he gave Sir Robert the hand of his youngest daughter in marriage, thereby allowing the following generations of Tyrells to claim descent from Garth Greenhand. That was the first marriage between the two houses, and nine more unions followed in the passing centuries. Following the defeat and death of King Mern IX Gardner and his other kin at the Field of Fire during the War of Conquest, Harlan Tyrell, hereditary high steward of the Reach, surrendered High Garden and was granted the castle along with Dominion of the Reach as Lord Paramount of the Manor by Aegon the Conqueror. As Wardens of the South, they frequently warred with the Dornishmen, who remained independent. As the Dance of the Dragons began, Lord Lionel Tyrell was an infant, and his regent mother was judged likely to align the Reach with the House's overmighty bannermen, the Hightowers, and the Greens. However, House Tyrell decided to take no part in the war. The Tyrell bannermen, on the other hand, were split during the war, with men of the Reach fighting on both sides. Later, Sir Ulf the White, one of the Dragonseed Bastards, would attempt to claim Highgarden for himself, as House Tyrell had taken no part in the dance, and he believed they should be considered traitors. When they round first Targaryen, the young dragon, attempted the conquest of Dorne, Lord Lionel commanded the army that invaded via Prince's Pass. After the initial victory, Dayron appointed Lord Tyrell as governor of Dorne. Lord Tyrell liked Dornish women and one night he pulled the rope that would signal for a wench to come to his bed, and the hundred scorpions fell from the canopy instead. His death sparked new revolts, and the conquest was undone in a fortnight. During Robert's rebellion, House Tyrell stayed loyal to King Aerys II Targaryen. Lord Mace Tyrell's forces achieved victory against Robert Baratheon at the Battle of Ashford, leaving the future king his only defeat of the war at the cost of Sir Quentin Tyrell life. Mace likes to take credit for the success, but it was the van under command of Lord Rendell Tarly that put Robert to flight. Mace went on to besiege Robert's brother Stannis at Storm's End, but bent the knee after the Targaryens were all but wiped out in the sack of King's Landing. Robert Baratheon, king by conquest, forgave them and accepted them as sworn vassals. Highgarden is surrounded by three rings of white stone, whose walls increase in height. Between the outer and middle walls is a a famous briar labyrinth which serves to entertain as well as slow invaders. The oldest towers, squat and square, are from the Age of Heroes. Newer towers are tall and slender, round fortifications that are dating from after the Ando invasion. Also within High Garden's walls are groves, fountains and courtyards. The Sept is matched only by the Great Sept of Baylor and the Starry Sept. The castle's Godswood contains three weirwoods known as the Free Singers. The Palatial Keep is decorated with statues and colonnades. The castle's structures are covered in ivy, grapes, and climbing roses. High Garden is filled with flowers, singers, pipers, fiddlers, and harpers. The stables have a fine selection of horse flesh. There are fields of golden roses that stretch as far as the eye can see. Sir Loras Tyrell, also known as the Knight of Flowers, is the Knight of House Tyrell and the third son of Lord Mace Tyrell of High Garden and his wife, Lady Ellery Hightower. He is a high highly skilled knight and jouster. His tournament successes, dazzling good looks, and ostentatious showmanship have made him a celebrated figure in the courts of the Seven Kingdoms. Loras was born at Highgarden. He has two older brothers, Willis and Garland, and one younger sister, Marjorie.
Henry, Loras squired for Lord Renly Baratheon at Storm's End and grew close to him. He soon became Renly's lover. Marjorie Tyrell is the only daughter of Lord Mace Tyrell and his wife, Lady Ellery Hightower. According to Cersei, Marjorie and Loras look more alike than Cersei and her twin, Jaime. Marjorie is intelligent and shrewd, and takes after her grandmother, the cunning Lady Olenna Tyrell. Marjorie is her grandmother's protege, and as such, Olenna has made certain that Marjorie is capable of protecting herself from those who might use or abuse her. Some people say that Marjorie looks like Lyanna Stark, so Renly and Loras Tyrell actually hope to rid themselves of Queen Cersei Lannister by getting Robert, who is still in love with Lyanna after 14 years, to become infatuated with Marjorie. According to Varys, Loras writes his father, Mace Tyrell, urging him to send Marjorie to court. The words of House Tyrell are growing strong. Of course, there are many other houses in the Reach. Some are pretty well known, yet their lands are not spoken of, and some are known only by their name. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like the story. See ya.